Alright. Here we are. No power again. But it does create the perfect environment for recording. So let's get into it. So, dudes, this is the this video is one of the few videos I've made so far that has been solely inspired by just one verse. Normally it's it's a verse that links up with an experience or with a testimony and links up with a story and it kind of builds around it but this one I purely I just really felt like this one verse pulled it together and like this one verse really just struck me in the feels deep in the feels and I just want to make a video about it but can you guys think of a time that was a little bit rough you know maybe a time where you got fired or your girlfriend dumped you your boyfriend dumped you or can you think of a time that was a little bit rough I mean it's 2021 at the moment of recording this so for a lot of people it is still the rough time uh, you know, a lot of people lost jobs a lot of people struggle during lockdown. I know I struggled not having people around, bro. Trying to do church online, trying to do life group online, maintain friendships. I mean, I was a gamer and I went back home with where there's no internet or very little internet. And it's like, oh, well, there we go. Yeah. I mean, this channel was started in the 2020 lockdown. So like, yeah, what a great time for Jesus to call you to start a channel in the middle of a lockdown we don't have internet so <laughs> that's another time um, I was I was part of the crew that was job searching in 2020 so yeah there's another <laughs> rough situation but Bruce I remember all the memes that I see where there's the dude dressed in a nice suit staring at the laptop and outside the window they've, they've CGI'd like jets and explosions and giant monsters and the captain's like me trying to search for a job during the pandemic <laughs> and i feel like that was a perfect picture of everything going down like the rest of us just trying to continue on with our normal lives we're trying to have a normal life so a, a lot of my friends were just trying to enjoy their like beginning vast years but they didn't get that because of lockdown but think think about a time like that now a time that knocked you for six a little bit and I want to I want to talk about a verse that I found when I was having these times. I can't remember exactly what time. But we know as Christians that God's given us strength and grace and that you know sometimes you really have that that tough situation and you end up just like for me there was a there was a bunch of situations where I ended up you pray and you don't get an answer and you believe and nothing happens and you know what you just got to grit your teeth and get through it and you just knuckle under you know that Jesus is king and you just get through it uh, and an example of that would be during the times of chronic anxiety you know what just <laughs> it didn't go away I wasn't a Christian really at that time so but you know what it's it's the perfect situation for that because you just gritted your teeth and you got on with it and you just went on um, but this is one of those situations where I was just gritting my teeth, getting on with it, knuckling under, you know, swallowing snakes, all those <laughs> swallowing snakes. Ah, <laughs> I hate snakes. But there's, but that's the uh, that's the perfect example of what the situation was. And here I was, I was reading in the message version. I'll read, I'll read the other versions first. But Colossians 1.11, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might, so that you may have great endurance and patience. Now, when I read that, I read, I read that in the message version. And it really just, it's, you know that verse when you're reading it just like punches you in the mouth. And you're just like, whoa. I, I remember sitting there and I was talking to God and I'd be like, yo, Jesus, so what are we reading today? And he'd be like, we're reading Colossians. And I'm like, okay, cool. And then the next day I'd be like, hey, Jesus, what are we reading today? He says, uh, we're reading Colossians. And I'm like, uh, oh, you're the boss. And then the next day I'm like, what are you reading? And he's like, uh, take a guess, take a guess. 
And it was Colossians. And I had not, I'm sitting like, come on, come now, Jesus. Uh, listen, did you, did you leave yourself on repeat while you went for a vacation or something? Until, until I read this verse and I was like, ah, now I know why we were reading Colossians. It's like, now I know why we were reading Colossians. It only took me a month to get it. But, uh, but the, the message version says, um, let me actually get it. The things I do for you guys getting out of my nice soundproofing to go and get an actual Bible. All right. All right. There we go. Says you will learn how to do your work. We pray that you'll have a strength to stick it over the long haul. Not the grim strength of gritting your teeth, but the glory strength that God gives. Now, not the grim strength of gritting your teeth. That that immediately jumped out of me because that's exactly how I was enduring these situations. You know when you endure a situation with God and you're like, you know what, God, we'll get through it. And you endure it and it's like, oh, and you're holding onto the horns of the altar, barely wanting to let go. And it suddenly occurred to me, it's like, shucks, well, you know, God's actually made provision that the situation can be that it's not a it's he's given us grace that to get through things with a glory strength as opposed to a gritted teeth strength and i wanted to i wanted to walk through that i wanted to walk through the glory strength what does it look like where does it come from why does it come and you know what to do in the worst case scenario so notice how it doesn't say that the problem goes away but it says that we have a grace to have a glory strength to get through it i love that i love that glory strength <laughs> i remember um on a mission trip uh, one of our, our third year classmates was doing a, a message for the ethiopians and she just started shouting out glory glory and the guy didn't know what to say because i don't know maybe they didn't have a word for it or something but he just didn't say anything but she just kept shouting out glory and then everyone just started losing it it was like oh wow i'm like they don't even know what she's talking about <laughs> but they're, they're just being polite i guess um but what do we got here let's look at some of the reasons why you know a lot of the time when we look through scriptures and stuff for going through hard times we go to scriptures like like luke 12 24 that's a good one consider the ravens and they neither reap nor sow nor they have neither storehouses nor barns and yet god feeds them oh how much more valuable are you than the birds I think about the time that Elisha was fed by the ravens as well. That's another really good one to think of. Another one, another one for the hard times is Matthew 11, 28 to 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest in your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Now, these are all really good scriptures for getting through tough times they're really good scriptures and i do think they apply to a lot of situations but there's there's a third there's an extra hard time that sometimes i think a lot of us get tripped up by and that's the hard time where you pray and the prayers don't seem to get answered you confess scripture and the scriptures it just <laughs> feel dry you you implore god and it, you just get nothing back it's just echoes and empty empty words and you know th these are one of those hard times where you just feel real alone where you kind of just you know it's one of those times where you start questioning god's um you start questioning god's ability to make decisions and you're like you know what jesus when i get to heaven we're going to launch a formal inquiry in your decision making abilities just to make sure that you are still competent because a competent decision maker would not let me get here. 
like, Jesus, if you let me have a go at it, I would not be here right now. I was like, Jesus, and you know, there's been a couple of times that I'm sitting there, I'm talking to Jesus. And, uh, and I'm like, you know, Jesus, if you let me have a go, I'm sure I could have made a better decision than this. If you left it up to me, we would not be here right now. And, um, but here's where I think the scripture just comes through, because I think it applies, or at least in my situation, it applied a lot more in that area where, you know, you're in lockdown, you've got no job and this, the, the, you pray and you still don't get a job and you confess and you still don't get a job and or you have that chronic anxiety and it's not going away or yeah you're stuck in lockdown and you know no matter how much you pray lockdown doesn't end and it keeps going and you feel like you're in a gritted teeth situation and I think this verse is super important because it it showed me that there is there's a better way than what we normally think we have been given a grace on our lives to go through these things in a godly way with his strength supporting us even when it doesn't seem to be there so that's the thing it, we've been given a grace to have a have a glory strength a glory glory a glory strength to go through these hard times and i think that's when it's most important because you don't need a glory strength when the scriptures pull through you know and you confess the scripture and you get a warm fuzzy or you pray and your prayers get answered but you need a glory strength when you're three months in and nothing's happened or you haven't been healed yet and and i think this is where this verse is just there to encourage people that you know what you don't have to sit and complain and and cry when these things happen because god has given us a better way a more excellent way and for me that was that was great because for me it showed me that there's more than i thought because i didn't know that that you could do that i didn't know that you could come through things without yeah they were like uh shadrack meshach and abednego you can come out of the fire without even the smell of smoke on you imagine imagine going through these hard times and instead of looking for the end of instead of instead of looking for the fire to go out you look for the fourth person in the fire and i think that's where colossians is, is taking this one it's looking more for the fourth person in the fire that's gonna pull you through without even the smell of smoke and that's where the glory strength comes from. It doesn't come from the fire being put out, but it comes from knowing what Jesus has done, knowing that he's pulled you through it, and that you will come out without even the smell of smoke. So anyway, dudes, that's me for now. I'm going to check you later, and peace.